hi guys in this video I'm going to discuss about the answer about uh, my previous video the question was like um, what happens when we configure the MP IBGP session between the P1 and P2 uh, instead of between their uh, loopback IPs from P1 to P2 P2's uh, interface IP address uh, whether the the end-to-end -end layer 3 VPN uh, will work that is from the ping from C1 to C2 will work or not I, uh, from uh, Sivaraman I think we got the right answer in the comment I just explained with some uh, uh, level details how uh, basically it fails um, if you configure the MPIGP session between the loopback to loopback like how normally in a, a, a typical uh, layer 3 MPLS VPN we configure the P1 adds a VPN label to that uh, destination IP and then on top of that uh, we add an MPLS label so when the packet goes out of P1 we have a VPN label to identify that particular VRF and on top of that a transport label so a BGP VPN label and also a MPLS transport label when it goes to the provider router the transit router basically um, it, it is directly connected to the P2 so you have a operation called PHP that happens penultimate hop popping a implicit null label 3 will be added to that uh, destination says it is directly connected uh, so the P1 knows that it has to remove the top label that is your transport label and then send the packet to P2 so P2 when it receives it doesn't have any MPLS label it has only the BGP NLR information about uh, the particular VRF let's say in P2 you have like 1000 VRF uh, with this value it will identify which VRF and whether to import that uh, route or not so this is a, a normal setup right when you configure the MPI BGP session between the P1 and P2 with to their uh, loopback IPs now when you do the same um, this MPLS uh, setup the MPI BGP session if you configure between the P1 and P2's interface IP the interface that connects to P1 in this topology the PHP operation happens between the P1 and P uh, that is the provider router and uh, provider edge router one yeah, one hop before the uh, the P2 uh, uh, router right so what happens here is the P1 adds uh, MPLS label and uh, VPN label and P1 end up in receiving the, um, the VPN label and P1 um, the provider router in the middle router we don't have any information uh, configured related to VRFA so the P1 simply going to drop that packet right so what happens here is the end-to-end -end, uh, layer 3 VPN communication will be broken the C1 C2 uh, VRFA uh, ping will not work so that is the uh, right answer um, which you got in the comments so if you configure for the interface uh, the MPI VGP session uh, then um, the layer 3 MPLS VPN uh, between the C1 C2 will not work. Thank you.